Hello everyone, thanks for joining me for another episode of Diecast Emporium. To be honest with you, this is actually my second take for this video. We had a pretty big, massive snafu with the video recording when I was doing this the first time, so you won't get to see the unboxing. Uh, not that I think it'll matter to most people, so I appreciate your patience. But today we're going to be looking at two of the Matchbox Convoy sets. Over here, we have the Ford Cargo and Matchbox Dump Trailer with the Quarry King. And over here, we have the Ford C900 cab over with the with the belly dump or bottom dump trailer and the MBX backhoe. So these are new releases for the early part of 2024. Uh, the Ford cab over is number 8 of 10, and the Ford cargo is number 2 of 10. So let's start with the Ford cargo. Uh, one thing I can I can already tell that I'm pretty disappointed with, even though it is a Matchbox toy, let's be honest here, we're not reviewing a high-end brass piece in this video. But this is as far as I could get my dump angle to go on my dump trailer, which is abysmal to say the least. The forwardmost axle of the trailer is a little bit off the ground. You can see that I'm spinning it, it's not moving. Um, but this should go way higher and at a much dramatic, much more dramatic angle than what we have here. The Ford Cargo Cab, if you've never heard of Ford Cargo, that's because this truck is sold um, in places like South America. You won't see this cab in the United States. Um, but it is kind of neat to have something different. If we put the trailer back down, both of these are in Matchbox reoccurring liveries. This is the newer Matchbox construction livery scheme uh, that we've seen a lot of recently in 5-packs and uh, other other series, obviously working rigs and now the convoys. Um, but I am a stickler for tradition, so I happen to be a, a much bigger fan of the INC decos. We'll take a look at that momentarily. Now the other Matchbox basic vehicle that comes with this set is the Matchbox Quarry King, seen here. Now the Quarry King is modeled off of, if we zoom in a little bit, uh, is modeled off of a wheel loader, an articulated wheel loader. But as you can see, there is certainly no articulation, and the bucket does not tilt forward. Only the loader arms raise, and they only go up to about here, which again is uh, somewhat disappointing. But at least it is based off of a real vehicle. The biggest downside, especially for play value, which is a term I like to throw, throw around a lot for Matchbox, is uh, if you're a youngster, like I was once, you're going to be disappointed because you can't even get this to load the truck that this is designed to be paired with. So... Um, not sure where, what, what Matchbox was thinking here, to be completely honest with you. I know they don't dump a tremendous amount of resources into the convoy line, but I do think there's enough of a following, especially among the adult collectors like myself, that uh, they probably could have done a little bit better job with vehicle choice. That's my opinion. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. All right, let's now move on to the Ford C900 cab over. Ford produced the C900 truck from the 60s all the way up to the early 1990s, so it was one of their most popular cab over uh, engine style trucks. It was produced from everything from a tractor, like you see here, to garbage trucks, fire trucks, uh, dump trucks, cement mixers, you name it, the Ford C900 could do it. The trailer I mentioned before, this is what's known as a gravel trailer or a bottom dump trailer. The advantage of using a bottom dump trailer is that if you're operating in an environment that has low headroom, meaning there's not enough room for you to end dump, you can dump out the bottom. And again, a lot of times you would use this to spread gravel or sand around, or even asphalt you would use to lay down bottom of this type of trailer. So I do like the fact that these are functional. Um, in theory, you could load this and then dump it out on the bottom. So in terms of play value for this one, Good job. I think kids will like it. Looking at the backhoe that comes with it, here is the Matchbox backhoe. Now, again, this is based on a real construction vehicle known as the backhoe loader, but unfortunately, again, the uh, functionality is lacking severely. Only the front loader part of the backhoe loader goes up, and, of course, the bucket doesn't dump. Again, bearing in mind this is a dollar bas basic Matchbox, but still, I would have expected a little bit more. At least you can pair it with this trailer realistically as you can see the loader arms do go up over the side in order to load it however if you are fortunate enough and have one of the working rigs excavators in inc livery in your collection this one right here i think this makes a much better pairing for this type of trailer and there you can see 
uh, just how good it looks. And we'll do a couple different views as well. But certainly, I would put the working rigs with this trailer any day. I think it looks really good, especially when you have company colors that actually match. All right, a little bit longer of a video than I wanted to do. I don't typically do a lot of Matchbox anymore, uh, but wanted to get a review out of these. I've seen a few already on YouTube, uh, but wanted to give you my views on them. I've collected Matchbox since I was a kid, and uh, I will always collect the Convoy line, but pretty disappointed with the Ford, car the, uh, the Ford Cargo, this one, to be completely honest with you, especially the trailer. However, the Ford C900 especially in INC livery, is super cool. I definitely think that is a standout part of the set. All right, thanks for watching. Until next time, take care, be well. And if you want to see more INC vehicles that are in my collection, the video is a bit dated, so it is missing a couple of the recent editions, like this, for example. But you can see most of them in this video right here. So just click it on your screen. All right, now we're done. Take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.